intense comprehending how literal genocide can still happen in the 21st century and is currently happening in the east right now overseas but it's in a faraway land away from you wait what's that fort worth officials upset after racist groups make their presence known I have so many questions like what kind of racist groups who could it possibly be there's so much left to the imagination here where was that again oh oh, oh dallas for you for local briefing well uh, there, there must be some, like, technical difficulties here. That's, uh... Racists have made their presence known at Fort Worth in recent days, and that has infuriated the city's mayor. Last weekend, a group of men in full Nazi attire was captured on video, assimilating with diners at a local Torchy's Tacos, and later they left racist flyers on cars parked at the Fort Worth botanic garden all that just days after open racist nick fuentes met with former state representative jonathan stickland at a business park in fort worth fort worth mayor maddie parker is furious at the overt anti-semitism and says fuentes's ideology has no place in texas politics <laughs> come on I'm sure there was like this big story about a wall or something i don't know i thought it was a big deal but a <coughs> Apparently not. As a Republican myself, we have to stand up and reject this type of behavior and empathizing with someone like Fuentes. So I'm hopeful that we see some some of this unravel in the coming days, said Parker. Yeah, what could possibly give a booger-eating Nazi like Nick Fuentes the impression that he has a place in Texas politics? It's an anomaly. Nobody nobody can really cite the reason. It's crazy, you know, it's just so out of the ordinary. But I know you're not here for any of that meaningless drama and absolutely just hyperbole. Nothing to get freaked out about. You're here for the hard-hitting questions. Like, what does Torchy's Tacos have to say? Well, fear not, because Torchy's Tacos has released a statement reading, <clears throat> We do not stand for hate and do not support this group or any hate group. Dash, Torchy's Tacos. The recent displays of hatred and bigotry in North Texas are deeply disturbing and don't reflect who we are as Texans. There can be no tolerance for hate, including anti-Semitism and white supremacy, the big ones that exist, unless you are implicit in furthering those types of agendas, then then uh, that's like a bygone time that's like over and stuff because you don't want that on your like track record. It makes you look bad or something. And that's your reason why. We must root out this prejudice from our communities. I'm sorry, wait, hold up. Did somebody just, like, propose a fucking solution to a problem? It's not very Texan of you, Mr. Colin Allred. That's, uh, thinking like a, an adult with his head on his shoulders. Kind of like when, when you see that there's neo-Nazis that are uh, gathering outside of a Mexican restaurant. And at least start to address the problem by, like, identifying them as like, hey, those are neo-Nazis. They got swastikas. They got the swastika armband. You can't even really go for the cover. Am I literally wearing a swastika armband? How could I possibly be a Nazi? Well, there you go. You got it. Kind of like if you have an issue with uh, people that are like big fans of that Hitler guy, you would recognize them as like exactly that instead of vaguely tiptoeing around the entire ordeal by saying racist groups. But, you know... You guys ever think that maybe the Holocaust just really started happening when, like, the Nazi party just didn't have any more arguments left? Investigating a shooting at the Texas State Fair. The park has been evacuated in Dallas police sources. Tell our sister station WFAA that two people have been shot, but no one is dead. Now, Dallas police are confirming online that at least one suspect is in custody. No word right now what led up to this shooting. We will continue to stay on top of this story and bring you any updates as they come.